like to get into flipping, but is that insane in this market? Um, Crystal, thank you for asking. So to be honest, it is a lot harder to flip in this market just because it is a seller's market. So you're going to be competing against a lot of people. Uh, however, doesn't mean that there's not still people that do that. But because so many people like watch it on TV and they're like, I want to flip, I want to do this, I want to do that. It is a lot harder than back in the day when people didn't really have the know-how and so forth. Um, so it is harder. I personally wouldn't just do it to flip. I would buy something again that you're going to rent out, whether short-term rental or something, and then sell it, whether it's in a year once you have, like I mentioned that other fellow, I forget his name, Craig, and you can show like this is what it made for a year or this is what it made for two years or three years. It's going to be a lot easier to sell that than it is just to be to sell a home that they can see that you just bought it and you just bought it for 600 and now you're trying to sell it for 950 and all you did was put an Ikea kitchen in it. So it is a lot harder. I would just try and find something that you can either, again, short-term rental or make it into a multiplex. Say it's currently a single family dwelling and you can make it a legal duplex. Maybe you can add a garden suite in the back, which is like those garages that have like a little 400 square foot uh, unit in it. Something like that, a little bachelor, I would do that um, as opposed to just trying to flip it completely. Music